Hi everybody, welcome to another fitness video with Trinity Medical. I'm Russell, I'm here with Ryan. Ryan is usually the one training people, but today he's the one that's going to be doing the workout. So I'll be talking you through it, Ryan's going to be performing it. Now we put out some videos before that are showing you some dynamic moves, some different athletic movements, some different cardiovascular workouts. But people have asked us to show us some things that are going to train specific muscle groups or for building muscle or actually like the clamor muscles, looking nice. Yes. So this video here is specifically targeting your chest and your back. We'll have other videos there for your arms and shoulders, your legs, your core, but this one is all chest and back. So Ryan's going to be doing all the workouts. We're going to be doing a lot of push-ups and pull-ups. So you're going to need a pull-up bar. Um, if you have one of those ones that goes in between your doorway or if you're going to do this workout at a gym, they have pull-up bars at the gym. Um, and you're also going to need some free weights. You're going to need a bench as well that you're going to be able to lift those free weights on. So again, if you're at the gym, that's ideal. If you're at home, you're going to need those things. So there's two parts to this workout. The first part is all body weight. We're going to be doing a series of push-up and then pull-ups in a superset. So a superset is when you do two exercises together, one right after the other. So he'll be doing one chest or push-up and then go and run right into one back exercise or pull-up. Then he'll rest and then he'll repeat it in different grips. I'll show you all that. Then after we do the body weight exercises, then we're going to pull out the weights and the bench press and we're going to do weighted exercises. All right, so we always want to warm up. Ryan, you ready to go? Ready. It's going to be a pretty serious workout. So we're going to get warmed up first. First thing I want you to do is get a pretty wide stance. I want you to take a deep breath up, put your hands overhead, and then I want you to take your back of your hands and feel like you're scraping down the back of the wall. When you come down, you take three again. Deep breath up. We'll do five of these. It's called scrapers. And what you're trying to do, I'll show you from the back, is you're trying to engage all of your back muscles working them all out so you feel like top to bottom all your back muscles are coming down together. Up and then scrape down. Good. Do one more of these. Up. Scrape back down. Good. We're just trying to get warmed up. This isn't like other warm-ups where you're trying to get your heart rate up. We're just trying to loosen up those muscles that we're going to use. Next one we're going to do is just a full range of motion with your arm and shoulder. So I'll show you from the back. You stand here, take your arm back and then bring it all the way up try to touch in the back. Going through that full range of motion. We'll do five with each arm. Just nice and smooth. Trying to get some blood flow going. Trying to work those shoulders, loosen them up. Because you're going to need them today. So he's going, see he's going all the way through. He's coming all the way up. He's touching. Yeah. Good. You're really getting full extension. So a lot of these pull-ups and these bench press moves, you're going to be doing a lot of uh, tricep movement as well. So you're going to really loosen up those triceps. So he's going up. Good. Coming up, touching. So when you're doing bench presses or you're doing pull-ups, there's always a primary muscle group that you're targeting, and there's always a secondary muscle group that you're targeting. With push-ups and bench presses, the secondary muscle group you're usually targeting is your tricep, the back of your arm. So you're using your chest and your triceps. When you're doing pull-ups, you're mostly using your back, and your secondary is your bicep, which is the front of your arm or top of your arm here. All right, so he's through those. Next thing we're going to do is a little exercise that we call pop and shoot. So we're going to open up our chest and then round out our backs. We're going to take our hands here. We're going to open up our chest, squeeze those shoulder blades back. That's the pop. And then you're going to round out your spine and shoot. We're opening up the chest and then pulling out forward. So you're really moving those shoulder blades in and out, loosening up. He's going to show you from the side. So see, he kind of opens up, squeeze that chest out, and then see how he rounds out his back. So he's taking his shoulder blades and I'm bringing it one more time. So he's pitching here. Shoulder blades are coming in. He's pushing out. Good. He's really opening that chest. He's going to take you through one more. And then round it out one more time. Good. Next thing we're going to do is some arm circles. So arm circles are going to get some blood flowing in here. We're going to really need these arms. So what I want you to do is take your hands, palms out towards both sides of the wall there, and we're going to go forward with little tiny circles. Good. So he's just trying to get some blood flow in here to these shoulders. He's going to use them. Push-ups and pull-ups, you need your shoulders as well. So he's going forward. Now he's going to get some big arm circles. See, he turned his hands over. He's really getting good rotation. Now he's going to go back again. Three, four. He's going to do it one more time. Good. Now let's shake out your arms. You can give yourself a little bit of a hug. Make sure you got everything loosened up. We're ready to go. All right. So the first exercise we're going to do is going to do a standard push up into a standard pull up, one right after the other. So standard push up is in plank position. Your hands are just right underneath the shoulders or right on the outside of your shoulders. You're going to be taking yourself down and pushing yourself right back up. Everything we're doing is between 8 and 12 reps. So he's going to be doing between 8 and 12 push-ups. 
then coming right up and be doing between 8 and 12 pull-ups. You do what range you're in. If you feel as if you can't get to 8, that's the minimum number, then you do an assisted pull-up or an assisted push-up. All right, we'll show you those versions. Ryan's in good shape. He's going to be able to get through these, though. Yeah. Those of you at home, if you're at here, hopefully you've worked out before, or if not, you probably shouldn't be doing this video with us. Start with one of our other videos and then come to this one. All right? Absolutely. So here we go. First set, we're going with standard push-up and a standard pull-up. Right. Ready? And then in between each superset, we're going to take a rest, and I'll tell you what the next set's going to be. So he's getting down in push-up position. And down right here. Ready? That nice flat back. His hands are right on underneath his shoulders. And go. So he's doing regular push-ups. One, two. So again, remember, it's eight to 12 reps. This is good form for Ryan. You don't want to kill yourself on this first set because you're going to keep going. You've got three sets of everything. All right, so he's done with that. We're supersetting. He's going to go right into pull-ups. So this is standard grip pull-up. Your hands are right above your shoulders. As if you just take your hands like this, put them straight up. That's standard grip. So he's doing eight to 12 of these. Good. Now, if you get hard to where you can't get, get to that eighth one, again, we'll show you an assistant pull-up or a way that you can do it with some help. All right, Ryan's good. Now we're gonna put 45 seconds on the clock because that's how much rest he needs. All right, got 45 seconds up. Got my timer going. During this time, you can shake out your arms. I'll show you a little stretch. You can kind of do this with your arms to kind of get some blood flow going to your shoulders. These are called pot stirrers, I believe. It's like you're stirring a pot. Come this way, you can shake them out, get that blood flow going. Now, again, on the pull-ups, what you can do is if you can't get eight full pull-ups, is you can pull a chair out in front, put one leg on the chair, and that'll help give you an assist. He has this band here, which he's going to use for an assist if he gets tired. You can slide the band over, put your foot in that, that'll help you as well. All right, we only got five more seconds. The next thing we're going to do is we're going down into push-ups, but this time we're taking our grip wider. We're doing wide grip push-ups. Ready? Here we go. Ryan's back down on the floor. His rest is over. Now, down this time, his grip is wider. It's outside. Still going 8 to 12. And go. Good. He's still keeping a nice flat back. He's taking his chest down to the floor, pushing himself up in a nice rep, working it out. See, he's just a slight pause at the top and then right back down, just with a wider angle. Good. Now he's coming out here. Again, with the wide, we're doing wider pull-ups. This is going to really attack those lats in your back. Really squeeze in here. So now his grip is wider. You can see it's outside of his shoulders. Back to doing 8 to 10. He's nice and controlled with it. He's not jerking his body up there. He's not swinging himself. He's just pulling himself up. And again, if he gets to where he can't do eight, he's gonna use the assist. Put a 45 second rest on the clock. Here we go. How you doing? Feeling good. Feeling good. Feeling good. So we went standard first, standard push-up, standard pull-up. Then we go into wide push-up, wide pull-up, just so you can guess. Now we're going close grip. So the, the push-up version, it's called diamond push-ups. So you're holding your hands like this when you get down into the push-up position, keeping your back nice and straight. And then we're doing close grip pull-ups. What you do is you take on your on the bar. I usually like to use my thumbs as a guide. If you get your thumbs to just touch, that's a good close grip or somewhere in that range. All right, Ryan's gonna show you. He'll do his first set facing you. The next set we do, we'll do with his back to you so you can see what it's looking like from both angles. All right, we only got a few more seconds of rest, so he's gonna get right back down into position. This is close. Grip, narrow grip, diamond push-ups. So you can see how he's fixing his hands in there. He's ready, we're doing eight to 12 of these, and go. So now he's keeping, so this is a lot more on your tricep. Remember I was saying earlier that there's a secondary muscle that you're working? This is less on the chest, more on the tricep. With the wider grip, it was more on your chest and less on the tricep the opposite way. So Ryan's doing good here, he's keeping his back nice and straight. These are gonna get tough. All right, so now he's going close grip. These are a little tougher too. These might be ones that you need an assist on. All right, try to do as many as you can without the assist, and then you can go get one, get a chair or a band if you need to. But I think Ryan's gonna get through this first set without needing any help. Because Ryan's a beast, he does this. The other thing you can see, when Ryan's pulling himself up, he's trying to stay nice and controlled. He's not trying to swing himself. He's not worried about just throwing his neck over. How many is that? That's seven. That's seven. Come on, he's got one more. Eight's the minimum, remember. Oh. You see how Ryan just kind of stopped and paused? 
put 45 seconds back on the clock, another rest. Now, that's round one done. So you've done three supersets. Now we're gonna repeat that all over again. We're going back to the standard push-up, then back to the wides, then back to the close grips. How you doing? Doing all right. And you can see Ryan's getting his, uh, I'm getting ready. He's getting ready. So to step. do all these pull-ups is tough. This is not an easy thing to do. But this is where you're going to really start gaining that strength, being able to move your own body weight around. So he's putting this in position. When he puts his foot in here, this is going to help him. It's going to take half of his body weight out of the equation and allow him to do eight pull-ups with good form. All right? If you're doing this at the gym, maybe you have an assisted pull-up machine that you can use. Those things are great. All right, we only got four seconds left. He's gonna get back in a position. He's back in his standard push-ups this time. So remember, those hands are directly underneath the shoulders, just slightly outside of the shoulders, right there. He's, he likes his right underneath his shoulders. That's really good. All right, and we're going. Eight to 12. Two, three, four, five, come on. 11, 12. So he went all the way to the 12. That's fine. So standard push-ups might be one of the easier things for you. They definitely get harder when you do the diamonds. So maybe you want to do 12 on the standard. So he's already putting his foot in here, going for the standard pull-ups. This is going to help him with some of the weight, allow him to be able to do all eight. All right, he's going right in. Here we go. Good. So he's still keeping his form. See how this band, he's got it wrapped underneath his foot. That's helping kind of bring him up, taking some of the weight off of him. Getting hard. It's a bit tough. All right. How you feeling? Tough. 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 Eight. Hey. So the other thing you can do is if you don't have a band, go get a chair. We'll put 45 seconds rest on the clock. You can get a chair. The chair can sit right in front of you. You can put your foot on there, and then you can use however much resistance as you want. This is only going to help him so much. You can get a thicker band as well too. If this one's not going to help you enough, this is one of a thinner band, but they have different thicknesses to them. The thicker it is, obviously, the more it's going to help you. All right? So that's the second or it says the second part of the standards done. Doing okay? Yeah. 45 seconds. Remember, you can shake out those arms, do the pot stirs if you need to, give yourself a little love with some huggers, get a little bit of water. This is the time for you to kind of breathe that back in, get your muscles to recover, because we're going right back in. Another shooter set's coming back in four seconds. All right, so see, it's, it's important to keep that same rest time because what you're doing is you're trying to train your muscles. You're, you're, you're taxing them, and then you're having them recover, and then come right back. So, all right, so now he's back to wide grip. Now he's outside of his shoulders. He's still doing good with his push-ups. 11, 12, good. And I like how he's keeping good form. His back is nice and straight. He's keeping his chest out wide. He's not compromising his form at all. Now he's back to the wide pull-ups. Wide pull-ups. All right, here we go. See, he's back outside of his shoulders. Wider grip. He's got back in his foot in there to help him. There you go. One, two, three, four. Ooh. All right, five. He's got three more. Come on, Ryan. Six. Help him here. Four. Woo! Go that minimum of eight. It's killer. Got one left. Here we go. All right, Ryan. Good job. I like how he controlled himself. You can really hear his breath there. I don't know if you can hear that at home, but he's breathing heavy. I like how he's kind of using himself. He collected himself and he kind of held himself in there. It's good. Those are getting tough. Pull ups are. Pull ups are not easy. Some people can't do pull ups at all. If you can't even do one, then you start with the assisted one right from the beginning. It's good to have an assisted machine, or like I said, have that chair out front. Yeah, the chair, yeah. All right. So we got a little bit of rest time here. Again, shake out your arms, do some hot stirs. He's stretching a little bit. See how he's opening up his chest. Take this time to be an active kind of rest. You keep your arms moving. You don't want to just sit down and stop. Pace back and forth. Shake your arms out. You can stretch a little bit if you need to. Stretch out your triceps. Hold on to the bar. All right, we only got two seconds left. He's right back in. We're back to the close grip push-ups. Or diamond push-ups, as I like to call them. Make that oh, diamond, diamond with your hands. Oh, diamonds. These are your favorites. All right, and go. He's got himself set. Two, three, four, five. Keep it a nice flat back. Nine. 
Dang, that's good. So for diamonds, they're a little tougher. So he was doing 12 with the standards, 12 with the wide. I'll take 10. He'll take 10 at the second head, right? If you can get eight on that third one, that's then you're good, good there too. And you're good. That's, that's why we do eight to 12, so you're gonna find that rep that's for you. That is the goal. All right, so now he's getting closer grip here. These are killer. All right, second set here. Ryan's gonna push through though. He's a beast. Two, go. Three. <laughs> Ooh. So he's going to take a break for a second, regather himself, he's got four more coming here. Like myself, okay. Same thing at home, if you need to collect yourself and then go back to what you're doing, then you do it. Ooh, Ooh. Ryan's, that's tough. Ooh. So he still has two Ooh. more, but this is really where you got to kind of work yourself. This is where you push through. He's at his limit, he's going to push past his limit. Ooh. Last one, here we go, Ryan. Terrible form, but we'll work with that. Sit, he's up. Punching. Right. There you go. We're resting here. This is getting tough. Can see. Putting 45 seconds back on the clock. As you can see, it's getting hard. I think Ryan might need maybe the, the other assist here. Man, yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch to the high, to the heavier band. This will give him a little bit easier help. As you can see, this band's a little thicker. That's going to help him a little bit more. Give him a little, take a little bit more of the weight off. These are getting hard. So if you don't have these bands at home, again, use the chair. That's a very good way to help you if you can use your own weight and you can kind of judge it yourself. All right, we're almost back in. We got another 10 seconds of rest here. Take this time, get a little bit of water, shake out your arms. Make sure you're ready to go. We'll come back in five seconds. Brian, you ready? Yeah. All right, this is the last set. We're back to our standard push-ups here, remember? Hands right underneath your shoulders. Brian's back in, all right, and he's back. Good. So he's still doing pretty good here with his standard push-ups. Brian's pretty strong. Now at home, you can't get through eight push-ups. Let's say you can't do eight like this. Drop down to your knees. Just drop your knees to the ground, flip over your feet, take half your body weight out. Get eight that way. And if you can't do eight that way, then do eight up against the wall. So now Ryan's going to do it with his back too. He's going to show you this way so we can take a look at his back both times he can flip around the other way. He's got his foot in the band. He's helping out. Hands are just above his shoulders. It's his standard grip. Here we go. He's up. Two. Three. Four. Five. Ryan's really working hard. I can see his face is straining. Six. Seven. Oh. Six. There's one. Eight. Good job. See how Ryan is really pushing himself? But that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to develop muscle. We're trying to sculpt those muscles, build strength. That's how you're going to do it. You're going to really kind of push yourself to that limit. You want those last couple to be hard. If you're still easy at the end, then you need to push to do a couple more. If by the time you get to eight, it's still easy, then you need to go to yeah. 10, you need to go to 12. Bump it up just a bit, bump it up just a bit. All right, so we got some more rest here. He's done with standard push-ups, done with standard pull-ups. They are out of the way. Push-ups are killer. I mean, those pull-ups are, pull are killer. Pull-ups are killer. Push-ups all hard. day. We can push up all day. Push up all day. Pull-ups, not all day. Not all day. But that's why we had the assist, but that's why he did it the right way. You see that first set, he was able to do all body weight. That second set, he started adding the assist. The third set, we switched to a higher, uh, stronger band. But that's what you need to do, and that's the progression. Yeah. If he keeps doing this workout, he won't need these bands. All right, now we're back. We've got one more second of rest. He's right back in. Now we're back to our wide push-ups. He's taking that, taking his hands outside of his shoulders. He's still ripping through these. But he's still working. You can hear him breathing heavy over here. He's sweating. Even though it looks like he ripped through 12. Again, if you're ripping through 12, stay there, do your 12, come right back up. All right, there it is. Wide grip pull-ups. He's outside of his shoulders. He's got the assist back on. This is the last set of these. Come on, Ryan. Two, three, four. He goes, he resets himself, five, six. Oh. You can hear him breathing heavy over here. 
You see his back working, see he's contracting these lats right here, these big back muscles, these are what squeeze and they're attached right here to his arms and then he's pulling, using that muscle to pull himself up. Good job, Ryan, good job. That is not easy to do. If you're still with us, you're still doing all these pull-ups and you're a beast. If you're kind of getting through it, if you're new to pull-ups and you're using assist the whole time, this is how you're gonna get yourself stronger. That is it's okay. Good. Yep, it is okay. It's not easy to be able to manipulate your body weight. You know, Ryan's got a lot of muscle. He's not a little guy by any means. He's pulling up a lot of weight. That's not an easy thing to do. All right, shake out your arms. Let's do a little bit of hot stirs here. Let's get some blood going here. Let's go stir the pot. Just kind of let the weight of your arm. That's gotta feel good, right? Good. A couple more turns this way, and it up. Let's go the other way. Get another arm. Yeah, get this way, Jimmy. We're resting. Take this time to kind of get some blood flow to your arms. Open up your chest and your back. Let's get that other arm in. We don't want to forget that arm, too. All right. We're going to go the other way, right back, and then we're going to get right back into it because rest time is over. All right, here we go. Now we're right back into our closed push ups or our diamond push ups. Make that diamond with your hands directly underneath your chest. As Ryan's doing, he's positioning himself, he's getting himself set. These are the toughest of the push-ups I know because I do these sometimes and they kill. Three, four, five, six. He's keeping good form though and he has not dropped to his knees, so this is tough. Come on, Ryan, bang it out. Whew, he got to the sticking point there, that was good, but he did it. That's it, no more diamond push-ups. Last one of these, close grip pull-ups. If you're in the last set with us, you've done all these and you've done a lot. Put the work again. Your you chest and back is getting stronger. You have earned it. See how he's working his hands in. He's trying to get him close in here. You go a little bit outside. So he's a little bit wider than the regular close grip, but he's got that band in there. But he's still close on the inside of his shoulders. What that's doing, if you're on the inside of your shoulder with that grip, you're putting a lot more on your lower back, the lower part of your traps. The wider you get out, the more of the upper trap it's going to get. Damn, Doc. Ryan is dying. He is at his end right here. This is the last set. But when you do a good workout and you're trying to build muscle, you're trying to tax your muscles to the last possible moment. And that's what he's doing. You can tell this is an appropriate workout for Ryan because it's taken him to his limit. If your limit was before this, then you do as many as you can and then you come back and you try to do it again with this next time. Yep. Good job, man. So now we're done with the body weight stuff. No more push-ups, no more pull-ups. We're going to get out our weights. We have hand weights here. If you have some weights at home with your gym, make sure you get them ready. Set your bench. We'll put 90 seconds rest on the clock. In between these, we're going to take a full, it's almost a double rest. All right, enjoy this 90 seconds. Shake out your arms. Get your weights ready. We're going to show you what we're, uh, exercises we're going to do, and then we'll be right back with you. All right, now we've got 90 seconds rest. Here's what we need to do. We've got our bench set, we've got our weight set. First thing we got, bench press. Standard dumbbell bench press. Ryan's gonna go grab his weights. He's use a weight that's comfortable for you. You find that weight. Sometimes it could be 20 pounds, it could be 60 pounds. It depends on who you are and where you're at. 
So Ryan's gonna put these on. You see how he sat on the bench? He sits them down on top of his knees. He's getting himself set. When you're doing dumbbell presses, that's kind of what you wanna do. Make sure that you're gonna be completely on the bench. Now as he rocks back, he's got it right over top of himself. All right, so he's ready. He's completely on the bench. He's got it right back. I'm gonna come back here and spot him. If you have a spotter, this is ideal. So that way your, your arms and your weight does not move. And how you spot it with somebody with dumbbells is you want to get right by where their wrists are. If it starts to go forward or backwards, you're just right underneath there giving them the little assist that they need. But right now, he's handling this weight no problem. So I'm just kind of keeping an eye on it. And remember, we're doing eight to 12. Eight is the minimum. So now what he does, he sits him down lightly on the side. Now, if, you have gym, if you're at a gym and you have rubber weights, you can drop them down onto a rubber floor. These are more plastic weights. These are the ones that you can adjust the weight. These work for us because we're in a small space and these are space saving weights. So now he's going right into his one arm row. This is attacking his back. Again, we're keeping the same pattern. We're going from chest to back. That dump, that bench press is all about your chest. This is all about his back. Now you can see right here, he's keeping a nice flat straight back here. He's got a nice stable stance. He's got his arm set. He's just rowing straight up. And he's using this part of his back right here to pull that arm up. He's coming just up right here, and that's it. He's not trying to overextend. He's bringing his elbow just up to where it's meeting, and then coming right back down. Now switching to the other side. He's got his weights ready, set, and here we go. Now Ryan was using the same weight to do the one arm row as he was with the bench press. If your weight is different, then maybe you can just have to change them in between. But he's using the same weight just to kind of keep that superset moving. That's the best thing about supersetting, is going from one right to the next. You try to minimize the amount of time in between. All right, Ryan, he's doing eight to 12 over here too. Now with the one arm rows, if you're doing eight to 12, you wanna do the same amount with one arm that you did with the other arm. If you only got to eight with that left arm, then you wanna get to eight with that right arm. You wanna keep that symmetry. All right, so you see we're gonna put these back. Make sure we're lifting up with our legs and wrap the weights back. We've got 45 seconds rest. That's going right now. Ryan's adjusting his weights for the next one. The next uh, exercise we have is we're doing flies. So if you're getting back on your bench press for chest, chest fly, we showed you before, you're opening up your arms wide and you're flying them together. Now we're pairing the chest fly with the back fly. So the first move is chest fly, then we're gonna get up and he's gonna do a seated back fly. All right, so Ryan's got his weight set. He's gonna come get on this bench. He's gonna set himself down. Ready to go. Yeah, now he sets his weights up. He's starting up nice and high. Here we go. He's going to fly down. Now I'm going to move behind him just in case he needs a spotter. And again, same thing here. Your spotter is just going to come just from behind and just help right by the wrist if he needs to. So when he's flying these up and squeezing them together, he's contracting those chest muscles, really kind of squeezing them in and trying to pinch those chest muscles together. No good, Mark. No good. All right, he's done. He sits him right back up. Now, because this is a lesser weight, he was able to just stand up with them, or before you could just kind of set them down. Now he's right into the seated back flies. So with the seated back fly, he's trying to keep his back nice and straight here. His neck is long. He's got a, like one straight line right here, and he's putting his weights underneath his legs, and then he's squeezing them up, contracting them. And I can see right here that his shoulder blades are squeezing at the top as he comes up. He's really contracting those shoulder blades, but he's not overextending his arms. He's really just concentrating on using that middle back to pull that together. It's good for him, Ryan. That looks good. Get here, Ryan. He's working hard. All right, 45 seconds rest on the clock. That's superset number two down. We're done with flies. All right, now re-rack your weights. Get the next weights ready for the next ones. We got incline press followed by stiff leg deadlift. Which now we're targeting a different price. So with incline press, what we're doing is we're literally just gonna take up this bench and turn it into an incline position. If you're at a gym, you can do this. There's probably an incline bench already set up for you. If you're at home, you just adjust your bench, get it ready. So now his bench is set. He's got his weight set. We're still resting. All right, we're going, we've got about five more seconds of rest here. Ryan's getting his weights ready. Again, he sets over the bench, sits himself down, he's got the weights ready. 
he's good to go. Come over here to spot him. All right. Now, he's using less weight than he was on the standard bench press. The incline press is tougher. This is more the top of your chest muscles that he's targeting right here. He's still coming down to about 90 degrees. He's bringing those weights straight down and then pressing them straight back up. Again, I'm just kind of keeping an eye on him. If I see his hands wobble or if he tells me he needs help, then I get right up underneath those wrists, right where the weight is. But he's good. He wrapped it out. Ryan's a beast. A little bit of sweat in the eyes. So he's sweating good. like crazy. All right, so now he's right into stiff leg deadlift. Now Ryan's going to show you. He's going to turn to the side. He's going to show you form here. Ryan is very good with his deadlifts. So stiff leg. That means his legs are going to be nice and straight. He's got his, hand, he's got his weights ready. They're on the side. He's standing up nice and tall. See how he just kind of hinges at the hips there? He bends over straight, his legs are straight, his back is flat here, and all he's doing is just standing up at the top. That's it, and he's kind of clinching a little bit at the top. This is really great for your lower back. This is gonna strengthen you right here. With this workout, we've touched all aspects of your back. We're touching all aspects of your chest. Hence the name of the workout, chest workout. Ryan is done. 45 seconds rest on the clock. How you feeling, Ryan? Oh, pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Getting a good pump. Ryan is sweating hard. Usually he's the one making everybody sweat. Oh, yes. Today he's the one sweating. Maybe while I'm wearing a pair of slacks and walking. Yeah. Rolls It'll be change. my turn. Rolls have changed. If you watch our shoulders and arm video, Ryan is the one doing the talking, and I'm the one doing the working. But the today, all of the torture begins. <laughs> I don't know who had it harder. I'm starting to think he did. Sweat is pouring off of him. Those pull-ups are no joke. All right, if everybody at home is still with us, you're still getting a great workout too. We got about five more seconds of rest. Make sure you got your weights ready. We're right back to the beginning again. We're at standard bench press and single arm row. Here we go. Ryan's getting his weights. He's pulling them up off the rack. He's coming back. He's stepping over. He's going to set them down on his legs, making sure he's got the weight nice and under control before he lays back. So he's got himself set on the bench. He wants to make sure his back is completely on the bench. Spins those hands around. Now for standard bench press like this, his hands are just naturally where they would kind of fall right on the outside of your shoulder and he's pressing straight up. Standard press. Now he's not trying to drop his elbows down too far. He's trying to just drop them down almost where the weights would touch his chest and then come right back up. All right, so let me know if he needs help. He's at the end here. He's got one more. See him say one more? Just gonna keep an eye on, on him. So he sets the weights down nice and gently. Woo. I like the weights you can slam down. It makes it easier. It does. We're working with these plastic it's weights. Difference. But these help save space. Yes, they do. And that's why we have them in our little room. All right, he's right back into those one arm rows. Now he's targeting the, specifically the one half of his back with these. He's gonna do eight to 12 here, then he's gonna switch over to eight to 12 with the other arm. All right, he's nice and stable. His knee is right up underneath his hip. He's got his arm holding himself still on the bench. He's keeping a nice flat back. He's pulling right up. Now you see, Ryan's doing kind of heavy weight here. This is not an easy, small weight here. So he's kind of, I don't know if this is picture perfect for him, Ryan, but he's been working hard. He's kind of twisting a little bit. The idea is if you would really keep yourself nice and straight, but because he's using heavy weight and he's worked so hard, we're gonna give it to him a little bit. All right. So he's getting himself nice and steady. Same thing here. Don't try to wrench and turn your back. You're really just concentrating on squeezing right in here at the top. You really want to just kind of feel that contraction. Now I like what he's doing better here. This is way better for him. You can see he's not really rocking as much. He's not putting any twist into it. He's really minimizing his chance of getting hurt when he's doing it this way. He's focusing on that one muscle. If you start really twisting or really pulling yourself, maybe it's too heavy of a weight for you and you need to drop down. All right, how are you feeling? 45 seconds rest. 45 seconds. We're sticking with the same rest time. What he's trying to do is train his muscles to be able to recover in that time. His muscles are getting ready. Hey, we're working hard, working hard, working hard. We know we have this amount of time to rest and to recover because we're going to get right back into it. So if you're at home, you're going with us, that's what you're shooting for is resting for the same amount of time. All right, Ryan's putting his weights back. He's adjusting them. He's getting them ready for the next set. So you should be doing it at home too. Make sure you got your weights ready. We're back to our fly set. We're going chest fly into back fly. This is usually a lot less weight. Sometimes probably about half the weight you should be doing on your standard bench press. All right. 
So Ryan's back. He's got a sweaty bench. He's working hard. I don't know if you can see this at home, but he is really I sweaty. I hope you can't see it at home. He hopes you can't see it at home. Can't see it All right, so remember, he started with his weights here. He got up. He's ready to fly. Here we go. So now with the fly, there's a slight bend in the elbow. He's getting a full extension stretch with that chest, and he's really using those chest muscles to pull those arms together. He's doing good. And if you can hear him breathing, He's breathing in as his hands go down, and then he breathes out as he explodes up. Nice and controlled though. This is not herky jerky. Ryan has really good form here. Again, if you need to use less weight to have good form, then do it. I don't want to see you try to compromise yourself just to say, yeah, I did heavier weight. All right, he's done. Sets him right back up. He's going to position himself now. He's using the same weight for the back flies. Sometimes you can do more with the chest flies than you can with the back flies. If you're at a different weight, then you take the time and you change your weights. He's using the same one. This is helping us with time and helping us with space. Now he's got his back nice and straight. Now he's back flying. It's the reverse fly. Instead of flying yourself in, now you're using to fly yourself back out. And I can really see, uh, if this is a good picture for me, I can see all of his muscles working here. He's getting a great contraction here. You can see those shoulder blades coming together and squeezing. All of his back muscles are popping. All this upper and middle back, that's what he's targeting. All right, 45 seconds rest. No mercy, that's all you get. No extra rest. Unless, of course, you have to. <laughs> but Ryan doesn't have to. exceptions. Hopefully, if you're doing this with us, you've worked out before. You're kind of familiar with some of your way around the gym. You're familiar yep. with some weights. This is not the workout you want to be starting with. If you're, if you're not quite there yet, then maybe do some of our other videos develop some of that soft tissue, develop some of your strength, and then come back and try this video again. Because what we're doing here is this is muscle sculpting, muscle building. That's what we're trying to do. Make that chest yes. pop. Absolutely. That's working on that Christmas tree, as Christmas they call tree. it, right? Yeah. <laughs> For the back. The good old Christmas tree. All right, we got five seconds rest, and he's right back. He's already adjusted his weights. That's what he's done. Sorry, guys. Oh, sorry, I should have adjusted the bench for him. We're on the inclines. You are OK. All right, so now we're back on inclines. Now we're ready. I get to stop talking. He got more than 45 he seconds. He gets distracted. Rest. But now we're right it's back. Okay. Incline press. Let me come over here in case he needs a spotter. He's adjusted his weight. Now, usually the incline press, your weight's going to be a little less than the standard bench press. But probably more than the fly. Depends on where you're at. I want to make sure that he's nice and safe and ready. So he got through 10. Eight's the minimum. I'm happy with 10. That's right in the middle. 12's the maximum. If you get to 12 and it's too easy, you feel like you had some more, then you need to bump up your weight. That's not enough weight for you. He's back to his stiff leg deadlift. So if you see him on stiff leg deadlift, he's going to demonstrate perfect form. See, he's hit what we call a hip pinch. He's bending over just straight at the hips. He's keeping his knees locked, his legs nice and straight. He's keeping his back flat. You can see what's happening here. He's also clinching his upper back muscle which is squeezing back up. That's keeping his whole back flat. The last thing you want to do with these is ever round out of the shoulders. That's a real quick way to hurt yourself. It's a hip pinch. Back is nice and straight and flat as you bend over. He's done with those. 45 seconds left. He's got one set left. That's it. Ryan's been out here working hard. We're going to switch back our bench to standard bench press. Nice. He's going to adjust his weights at home. Shake out your arms if you need to. Get a little bit of drink, a little bit to drink. We have one full set left. All right? How you feeling, Ryan? Ready for this to be over. <laughs> Ryan's been working hard. This is one of those. It's good, though. It's good, because if, you, if your goal is you want to build a bigger chest, you want to build a bigger back, then you need to do a workout like this. Definitely do it for if you. If you just want to maintain or a little bit of strength, then you probably need something a little easier. But this is something we're bumping up for people who want to work out hard. Absolutely. Here we go, 45 seconds is over. He's got his weight back. He's ready to go. He's picking his weight back up off the rack. He's going to step over the bench. He's going to set his weight down on his knees. So he's going to make sure it's nice and set and ready to go. And he's going to lay back, make sure his whole back is on the bench. Here we go. All right. Good. Six, seven, eight. Here we go. Woo, you got the eight. That was it. 
that's where you get. Eight's the minimum. He did eight, and that was good. Now, he had a spotter. He could have wanted to bang out a couple more, said, hey, spot me on this if you wanted to. You can do that at home, too. If you have a spotter there with you, you feel like you want to get an extra one or two. If you don't have a spotter, you want to be careful really pushing yourself. A spotter helps a lot. But that's why we're doing dumbbells, though. With a barbell, it's a little bit harder. You really can't go without a spotter. With a dumbbell, at the very least, you can bail out on those weights and drop them. Now, I like his form here on this set. He's keeping himself a lot more straight, a lot more control. He's only going for eight on that one. You can see he's sets of eight. <laughs> he's sets of eight. He's sets of eight. That's, a... That's it, though. That's it. No more left, left arm, one more arm rows. Now, it looks to me, just from watching Ryan work out, he's a little bit stronger with his right arm than he is with his left arm. He looks a little bit more in control on this side. You can see his back is just... He's really in control of the weight on this side. That's it. 30, 45 seconds on the clock. Now, if you have an imbalance a little bit too, and you're stronger on the one side than you are on the other, you don't want to exploit that and do more on the one side. You want to keep that one side until the other side's caught up with it. So you can still just do eight on each side with the exact same weight. Once the other side catches up, then they both come up together. All right. So, Ryan's going to reset his weights. There we go. Next thing we got over on our fly set, chest fly and back fly. This is the last set for this. We got about 10 seconds rest left. Oh no. Oh no. I'm coming. Ryan's got to hurry up and he's got to set his weights. I'm coming. Got these dial weights. You got to get them set. If you got a whole rack there, that would make it easier. It didn't click in. But he's back in time. Here we go. Just in the nick of time. He's back to his flies. He's back up. Dropping now, keep it slight bend at the elbow, and he's flying up. He's really contracting that chest, squeezing those chest muscles together to bring those arms up. There you go. Four. Hopefully, everybody at home can really hear him breathing, exhaling on the way up. He's breathing in. He's heading right through. He's got one more. Here we go. Oh, I know he's feeling the burn. His chest is burning. At home, if you're still with Ryan, your chest is burning too. You've got to head to the workout. That or your forearms. Either one. <laughs> Either one. Either one. That's actually really, really good. You've also, the other thing that people at home, if you've gotten through this whole workout, you've really worked on your grip strength a lot today too. Yes. Not only did you work on your chest and Absolutely. back, your grip strength got a lot stronger. He's back to his back flies here. So remember, he's contracting here. He's reverse flying. I like how he's not shaking. He's not rocking his back into it. He's not swinging his arms. He's nice and controlled. If you feel like you're doing any of that, then you probably have too heavy of a weight. Yes, please don't do that. And if you're keeping perfect form and you're nice and straight and you get to 12 and it's kind of still easy, then you probably have too light of a weight. You need to go up. I think Ryan had the perfect weight because he got right through the number he was looking at with perfect form. So we got some rest time here. 45 seconds is on the clock. Last. Last set. Let me change the incline for you. Set. Not going to mess up your time this time. So back to the incline press. Those of you at home, adjust your bench. If you're in the gym, get next to the incline press machine. This is the last one. One more superset. We're doing incline press and a stiff leg deadlift. And then we'll move down and stretch, and that is it. All right, Ryan's got his stuff. He's getting set on the bench. He still has about 10 seconds rest, though. He can rest here. Make sure you take that rest. Do the 45 seconds because you're trying to take your, train your body to completely replenish itself and get ready to go. All right, and we're in. So Ryan's back. He's up. He's getting set in the position. Arms are at 90 degree. He's pressing up. All right. I'm gonna really watch him on this set because this is the last set. He's doing pretty heavy weight for a final set here. Eight. That's good. I'll keep it. He's keeping it. Last set, set of eight. Maybe you started with 12 on the first set. Then maybe you went to 10, and maybe you're going to eight, too. That could be a good strategy for you. Right? You know yourself, you're going to push yourself to that limit. This is the last exercise. Stiff leg deadlift, working that lower back. Here we go. Ryan's keeping good form. He's bending over straight at the hips. He's not rounding out his back, keeping a flat back. Even though this is mostly working your Lower back, you're really getting an upper back workout here too because you got to hold those weights and you got to keep that back in, in position. 
I can see all of his upper back muscles contracting and squeezing just to keep his back nice and flat and straight. He's working hard. That is neat. If you did all those exercises with us at home, you had a great workout. You're probably sweating like Ryan did. Good job, Ryan. Right. Excellent. Now at home, you don't want to just sit right down and stop. You work those muscles really, really hard. So we're going to make sure we cool down and we stretch those out. Go, Ryan, to get a little bit of hugs. Some love. Give yourself some love. Huggers, arm swings, whatever you want to call these. Alternating, top to bottom, left arms on top, and then right arms on top. He's opening up his chest. His chest is probably sore. How you feeling? Good. Good? It's good. That was a good workout, Very right? Good. Yeah. All right. Yeah, minimal space. And this is it. Minimal back. space. We're in a room at Trinity right now. That's it. We brought our own pull-up bar. If you don't have one of these, you can get the ones that go in between your door. Doorway. You can do this at the gym if you're watching this video at phone, on your phone. All right, what I want him to do is come back over to the pull-up bar. If you still have that pull-up bar ready, he's just going to hang here. I'm going to give him a 20 seconds on the clock. Just give him a 20-second uh, hang. It's going to really just kind of help him get some oxygen into those muscles, kind of open up those shoulders. Just let him kind of hang here, get all that blood back. Cool down. You can hear him. He's deep breathing. All right, got about five more seconds on here. Nice deep breaths, in through your nose, out through your mouth. Two, one, done. All right, now what we're gonna do is some shoulder and tricep stretches. So what I want you to do is you're standing straight here, keep this arm nice and straight, bring it straight across, up underneath your chin, take that other hand and pull it into your body. Now you can make a fist and pull it in this way, you can put your hand across like this, whatever makes it comfortable for you. But you wanna be standing nice and tall. Ryan's got the fist lock. I saw him do this stretch the other day and he was in a lot closer. What I think that happened is his chest is all pumped up right now. He can't get that arm all the way in. But that's all right. He's still getting a nice good stretch back here on his shoulder. That's what he needs to do. Now he's going to take that same arm and he's going to bring it up over his head like this. He's going to try to touch his back with it. He's going to take his other hand and he's going to do a tricep stretch. I'm so tall, I'm probably out of the picture as I'm doing this. Ryan's got it right here. You can see he's squeezing on the top of his arm and he's pulling back and he's really stretching that tricep. Please stretch your triceps. You were using them, all those diamond push-ups. He's really, uh, his triceps are thanking him right now. Good. A couple more deep breaths. Then let's go to the other arm. And we do the same thing. We're gonna take that arm straight across, stretch the shoulder first, pull it in with the other arm. Really getting a shoulder stretch here on the side and that back. You're also stretching that back. back. The other thing you can do too, you can see Ryan standing nice and tall. Never is your posture bent over. You're always tall. Always feel like your spine is straight up and down. All right, now he's gonna do the tricep on that side. Bring yourself up, down. Good. And he's breathing into this. He's kind of helping himself cool down. Even though you weren't doing that, what we would consider a cardiovascular workout, his heart rate probably jumped up there. You can see from the sweat, his heart rate was probably jumping back and forth in between sets. So he's still cooling down. He's bringing his heart rate back down to normal and he's stretching those muscles we use. All right, another deep breath here and we're done. All right, last stretch we're gonna do. I'm gonna turn to the side, I'm gonna show you. Put your hands behind your back, put your palms together, clench your hands together. And what I want you to do, if this is as far as you can go, then that's fine. For, no, for those that. of you at home, if, you're, if you work your chest, that might be as far open as you can. Then you're gonna take it, you're gonna try to squeeze and fight those arms straight down, opening up your chest. You can see Ryan's chest is fully open. He's got his arms there together. He's a little bent, he's not quite in, but he was really working his chest hard. You feel it. Yep, breathe into that. Opening up that chest. A couple more deep breaths here. All right, one more. Now the next thing we're gonna do is the opposite side. We're gonna take those hands, and we're gonna kind of squeeze them in together, and we're gonna pull out to the side and really round out that open, that upper back, really stretch that out. See, he's got his hands in here, and he's gonna extend. Good, what he's doing is he's trying to pull down his chest muscles together, open up those shoulder blades in the back, breathe in some of that oxygen, get into those muscles. Do a couple more deep breaths here. Those of you at home, if you did this whole workout with us, be proud of yourself. Check out some other videos with us. Ryan's got one more deep breath. And he is done. All right, again at home, like, us, like this video, like our page, check out some of our other workouts that we have. Watch me torture Russell in the arms and shoulder video. <laughs> Thank he you does guys. get me back. Thank you guys very much. We'll see you next time.